In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will hear their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the Jew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Seb Lebanon cedar, and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim 
What more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk. But sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress, you called me, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you, O Israel. Will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock, I would fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. 
and to love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that He, un that he answered with understanding, He said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Around the, the late 1990s or maybe early 2000s, a Pauline priest painter, Father Armand Tangi SSP, made a beautiful painting with a title, Laughing Christ. At hindi ko po alam marahil na inkwentro nyo na po yung image or yung, or yung picture na iyon. Until now, I think it is still available. His description of Jesus laughing or smiling is not very far from the Jesus who lived 2,000 years ago together with His disciples and with His people. He smiled at His parents. He smiled at His disciples. He smiled to people. He smiled to struggling sinners wanting or exerting effort in conversion. Ginitian din niya kahit ang mga nagnanais magbago, kahit hirap na hirap magbago. This is one thing I, I wish to offer to you, my dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect our readings for today. A smiling God, a smiling Jesus, a smiling Jesus and a smiling Lord not because something funny is happening, but the Lord smiles because someone is doing His best to be good. Someone is taking to heart well what God is telling all of us. Ito po ang tinanggap na biyaya ng mga Israelita sa narinig po nating unang pagbasa. May ngiti sa labi ng Diyos, hindi dahil katawatawa sila o katawatawa yung kanilang mga ginawa, kundi nagsumikap silang magbago. Ngumiti ang Diyos, hindi lang para, hindi lang ibig sabihin na masaya ang Diyos dahil nagbago sila, kundi masaya silang nagpursigi at nakita nilang malinaw at maganda ang buhay na kanilang hinaharap sa kanilang pagbabago. And likewise, we heard how Jesus commended the scribe who asked him about the first of all the commandments. Jesus smiled not only because he knew it, but Jesus affirmed him because he took that into his own heart. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is not only smiling when we get to the end point of our struggles or even to our own Calvary if we wish to renew our lives. Kung bakit po tayo nagpupursigi at nagpapatuloy dahil may Diyos na nakangiti sa atin. Sa bawat nagpupursigi, sa bawat lumalaban, sa bawat nagbabago, ngiti ng Diyos ang nagpapalakas dito. Ngiti ng Diyos ang nagpapalakas sa mga ito na katulad natin. God is not a grumpy old guy who would be so pessimistic to us na parang sasabihin niya, kung ngayon nagpursigi ka, itaga mo sa bato, bukas, babagsak ka din. But no. 
God is smiling at us and telling us, you have struggled, you have understand, you have understood well my wishes and my will for you. You might fall back again, but we will continue. Lalaban tayo. May ibibigay pa akong pagkakataon. May bukas pa para sa iyo. God smiles not to tease, but to inspire those struggling, those putting much effort in facing a new life, and those understanding and embracing God's most holy will. God smiles in order to inspire. He inspires in order for us to move on and be the best version of ourselves in this life. Please stand. Let us pray to God the Father that His love for us may inspire all and that His love may, may mark our attitude towards everyone. For every petition, we shall all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may never cease to proclaim love of God and neighbor as the heart of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may never forget to show compassion to those who are underprivileged, unwanted, and unloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may treat every person with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own intentions as well as the prayers offered in this Mass and the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, help us to love you and one another without measure as you do. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
with humble spirit and contrite heart, we may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord, our God. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his and gave it to them, saying, "Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you." In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest feast, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, with Saint John of God, and with, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Lord art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, <clears throat> I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that, trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Para 
Ang Diyos na kapili 